and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so that you can improve your problem solving skills as well as save your time so without wasting much time let's get started so today's problem of the day of geeks for geeks is a very very good problem which is largest rectangular sum matrix whose sum is zero okay it's a very good problem and uh, as we can all see that it is a hard problem as well but i'm going to explain you in so many small small steps that this hard problem will become an easy problem for you after this solution okay so look what we have to do here is we will be given a matrix int a uh, which will be a 2d matrix matrix is always 2d okay and uh, we will be having some numbers to it and numbers will be both negative and positive and what we have to return uh, we have to return that sub matrix that sub sub part of that math sum matrix whose sum is equal to zero okay so here if you will see that one two three three minus three minus two minus one one seven five so here if we will see that the sum of this uh first of all this total matrix one two three minus zero so we will be returning this matrix okay so we have to return the largest sum matrix whose sum is zero okay and uh, similarly here if you will see that uh, minus six minus seven eight seven minus two zero this sum is zero and it's the area its area is largest okay its area is largest so i will return this matrix so what matrix i have to return i have to return that matrix whose sum is zero and whose area is the largest okay so yeah that is it sounds interesting yeah. so if you haven't solved the problem of largest sum contiguous array whose sum is zero i think you should solve this because that concept we are going to use it here as well okay now i have written something for you so i'm going to explain it with the help of that picture okay all right so if you can see here i have taken one sample matrix so what concept we are going to use here is if at any point of time the sum of any matrix like suppose i'm taking a whole sum of all the rows so if at any point you will see that the sum of this much row okay uh, or i'm saying give one two three four five this much is ten this sum is ten this much okay and the sum of whole matrix let's suppose the sum of whole matrix is also ten okay the sum of whole matrix is also 10 so if the sum of first row is 10 and the sum of whole matrix is 10 also 10 so can we say that the this much matrix sum is 0 can we say that this much sum matrix is sum is 0 why because the whole sum is 10 first row is 10 so 10 minus 10 this much matrix sum is 0 so this is the concept which we are going to use okay i think the concept will be clear to you now okay okay so i have written some steps for you which is going to help you in understanding the solution the first step is calculate sum of digits of each row okay so here 1 2 3 6 Minus one minus two minus three six one seven five is seven one eight thirteen. Okay, in this way I am going to calculate the sum of each row. But 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 the trick is at each index. Like suppose for this second row, uh, this uh, row index number one, at this point I will be having the sum of minus five. So at this point, what will be i one and what will be j two? So sum of i j equal to a i j, which is minus two. Okay, which is minus two, and sum of i j minus one, which is minus three. So at this uh, equal to minus five in this way, I'm going to store the sum. Okay, I think that's point is clear. Now another point is initialize max area start row in row. This is step two. Okay, after doing this, I'm going to initialize some variables max area start row in row. These are these are needed start row in row start column in column is needed because I have to store it. What I have to store? I have to store the starting in because I have to return the numbers. I don't have to return the max area. I have to return the those numbers which are present in that sum matrix. Okay, so due to this, I will be having uh max area short row in row in this way and the third is what run two loops to get columns like c2 c5 c2 c6 in this way okay so what does this mean suppose after this there is another two columns four five seven eight in this way uh one two okay now i will be considering you know i will be considering these columns as well these column as well and one two three column as well two three four column as well so how i am going to uh, consider this i have to be used two loops i have to use two loops to get to the columns like c2 c5 c2 c6 c3 c4 and for each columns like suppose two three four i'm considering at this point so i will calculate the sum of rows for these columns like two three four sum will be nine minus two minus one seven sum will be four i think seven five one the sum will be 30 okay so in this way i am going to calculate the sum of each row between these column numbers okay and suppose i got the sum and now i'm going to run a loop again initializing my current sum equal to zero okay and storing the sum of each rows so current sum plus equal to uh, per present rows sum okay so in this way and i'm going to store it into the map and if the map already has this much sum if map has already have this much sum it means that that matrix sum is zero between those okay so i think i have already explained this part again uh, earlier so i think that's it that was the whole concept idea of this problem so let's now go to the code base uh, code editor and uh, understand the code of it okay 
all right so let's see the code for it okay so first of all uh, let me store the number of rows and number of columns for it with uh, a dot and uh, int m equal to a zero dot length okay so now what uh, was the first step which i told that i'm going to store the sum of each row so how i'm going to calculate the sum of let's uh, take it as sum equal to new int of n m okay in this way after that int i equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus i think everyone knows this int j equal to 0 j is less than m j plus plus and after that sum of i j equal to a of i j okay and if we are at the first column so i am going to have 0 otherwise i will be using the sum of the previous one okay like 2 1 and i will be adding it to the 3 so how i am going to write this i'm going to write it as if j is greater than 0 so i am having sum of i j minus 1 otherwise i will be having 0 okay so this is a ternary operator we have used it here and in this way i've got the sum now the second thing was what initializing the variables so the variables are int max area equal to 0 uh, start row equal to 0 let's take int row as minus 1 indicating we haven't got any row now after that uh, start call equal to 0 and after that int call equal to minus 1 okay so in this way i have initialized some variables now as i told i will be iterating for each of the columns like c1 to c5 c2 to c3 c2 to c4 c3 to c6 so how i'm going to do that int c1 equal to 0 c1 is less than m okay c1 plus plus after that again next is c2 equal to 0 c2 is less than n uh, c2 plus plus oh sorry so c2 i will be starting from c1 and c2 is less than m so in this way c1 will change everything for everyone and uh, in the same way c1 to c2 will run okay uh, all right now what i told for each of these c1 to c2 i have like suppose i got my c1 c2 as this one minus 6 to 7 now i'm going to calculate the sum of each row between these things okay minus 6 7 8 7 2 minus 2 zero. this much sum of each row so how i'm going to calculate this i will take one variable array as temp new int of uh, let's say side n okay for int i equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus so this is going to calculate the sum of each row for the columns from c1 to c2 okay so in this way temp i equal to and now at this point i'm going to use the sum of this matrix so how i'm going to calculate sum of i and c2 minus if c1 is greater than 0 so sum of i c1 okay otherwise 0 okay so in this way I have come out of this loop here now again as I told I will be using a map to store the sum of each row and if I got a duplicate sum it means we have got some rectangular sum matrix whose sum is 0 so map equal to new hash map and sorry guys I think this solution can last a bit longer than 5 minutes because you know you know the truth it was a real tough problem so this is basic way if you have solved longest array contiguous sub array with some 0 I think everyone knows this I'm going to use my current sum equal to 0 okay now again i'm going to iterate for each array okay and i'm going to store my current sum plus equal to that uh, rows sum okay so it's going to be temp of i okay hmm. now if map already have something like this current sum so i'm going to do something otherwise i'm going to put it to the map map dot put current sum comma at which row i have got okay so if i have got map already have this sum and now again i have got this sum so it means that we have got a sub matrix whose sum is zero okay so i'm going to calculate the area first of all so int area equal to c2 minus c1 plus 1 this is my columns into my rows i current row into previous one which will be map dot get current sum okay in this way uh, yeah i think it's correct so I've, I've got the area and if my current area is greater than max of area it means i have to update my variables i've got the new current max area so max area equal to area start row equal to my dot this one okay in row equal to i start call equal to c1 in call equal to c2 okay uh, i have to do plus one here yeah i think that is it uh, which bracket will be ending here at this point and now i have to store some answer so i will be doing this 
new array list like this and if my max area is still zero okay it means what if my max area is still zero means return empty uh, return answer means i'm uh, returning empty otherwise i'm going to run a loop from start row to in row okay and uh, for the columns but before that i will be initializing the array list row new array list and after that for int j equal to 0 oh j equal to start call j is less than equal to end call j plus plus and uh, row dot add a of ij which was our given matrix and after that here i'm going to add answer dot add row okay and here i'm going to return my answer okay i think there should not be any mistake and this should run properly otherwise i have to debug it a lot okay 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 i think i haven't declared some variables yeah like this okay let's compile it again please 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 okay now well, let me check what are the errors now okay 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 so what are the errors what are the errors uh, temp i okay uh, so one error is this c1 is greater than zero so i will do minus one to get the previous one and uh, the another one can be yeah here i'm calculating getting the row numbers wrong i'm calculating the area wrong c1 c2 minus this is the number of rows columns and this is the number of rows and i'm going to multiply them okay so let's try to submit it again i think it should run now please okay yeah it's running let's try to submit it okay 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 come on come on okay great guys great 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 okay so i think that was it it was a fantastic question i think i think i have uh, explained you this solution in a very fantastic way as well so if you have liked the solution please don't follow to don't forget to like share and subscribe because it took a lot of effort to explain this to you and please comment as well and i will see you again in the next video and i will add the images as well to you so that you can refer to them okay thanks everyone i'm gonna see you again tomorrow bye